Historic pictures have always presented an opportunity to look into the past and take a glimpse of what life was like. Through the years, numerous historic photograph books dealing with Evansville have been published. Dr. Darrell Bigham from the University of Southern Indiana has put forth several picture books that focus on Evansville during the late 1800s and during World War II. There are also well-known historic photo collections at Willard Library, the Evansville Museum of Science, Art, and History, as well as the USI Special Collection Archives. While there is a large number of photographs that many in Evansville would quickly recognize, recently hundreds of photos have been made available to the public. Two very significant private collections owned by the Donahue family and Daniel Hayes have revealed many forgotten photos of Evansville's past. Many of these historical photos reside here at Color Print One. I began working on the Donahue Studios negatives in March of 2006, spent approximately six months just sorting through all the cartons of negatives. There were probably 50 cartons and uh, after that I began cataloging and so now in October of 2007 it's about 19 months into the project. The Donahue family has been working in the field of photography since the 1930s. Jim Donahue has recently began a new graphics similar to that started by his uncle Richard Donahue. The company was originally Wallace and Sons and was bought out by Richard in 1949. Donahue has preserved many of these original negatives. Thomas Donahue started working with his brother Richard after graduating from high school in 1948. Before his uncles passed away, they were both in the process of cataloging the vast number of photos they had taken over the many years. Today, Mr. Donahue has taken over their task and is making great strides towards finishing their work. People might be surprised with the broad range of photos that are in the collection. These photos have been in storage for many years, some of them not even known to exist. Recently, these new pictures have become available to purchase by the public. I would really hope that um, a Donahue Studios photograph would be hanging on walls and all over town. Just the image quality in the large format 8 inch by 10 inch negative and the technology today to reproduce them, they're just outstanding prints. Jim Donahue has started a new partnership with Daniel Hayes, an Evansville contractor with his own incredible collection of photographs. Mr. Hayes, an antique collector, recently came across many never-before-seen pictures taken for Hoffman contractors in the early 1900s. Hoffman participated in the construction of many Evansville landmarks, including Wright's High School, the Victory Theater, the McCurdy Hotel, and Bossy Field. Hayes made an incredible save when he discovered that the entire collection of Hoffman materials were being thrown away. He secured permission to salvage them from a dumpster and was able to save hundreds of construction photos from the landfill. Hayes has now turned this save into a business venture, offering reproductions through Donahue Studios and is now working towards getting them out to the public.